Good day ladies and gentlemen, I just read Cadian Blood by ADB and it's pretty cool. The premise is quite simple, the planet of Cthur has fallen to Nurgle and the population is turned into a mixture of zombies and Nurglite planetary defense cultists. A spirit of Cadians are sent to reclaim the planet together with various extras such as an engine seer, a sanctioned psyker and a squad of Kazarkin. Things however soon take a turn for the worse as it turns out that the Imperials really have bitten off more than they can chew. The biggest highlight of the novel for me was the amount of insight it gives into the functioning of the Imperial Guard. There are a lot of different units in this book, ranging from normal Cadians to a Commissar to Space Marines to the Kazarkin Elite Force. All of them have to work together, but the relationships are often pretty strained, and these frictions are explored quite a lot in this book. For an example, the leader of the Space Marine squad has an equal rank to the Imperial Guard leader, which works about as well as you'd expect. Basically, neither has the power to command the other, and thus both groups might end up applying vastly different strategies. Or what about the sanctioned Psyker? Sure, he can come in handy and provides quite some power to the army, but he also forms an immense risk as he is frequently exposed to the warp and all its dangers. This of course puts him in a very awkward position with the Commissar, who will shoot him at the slightest sign of, well, anything really. Furthermore, the culture and beliefs of the Cadians were worked out very well in this book. From their weird obsession with eye color to their refusal to retreat, Cadians are quite an interesting bunch and as someone who has only really read about the Creek so far, I was quite surprised at how much identity is attached to the various guard regiments. One thing that wasn't worked out so well, however, was the power dynamics between the humans, the Astartes and the traitor Astartes. I will admit that this is a bit nitpicky, but for some reason Cadians can quite easily mow down plague marines, while at the same time the plague marines treat the loyalist Astartes like tissue paper. It's quite common for books to overpower the main characters, but in this book the plot weaponry was especially noticeable. So if you like the Raven Guard, then maybe you want to skip this one. But the biggest downside of the book is a weird decision to spoiler the entire plot in the middle of the book. Yeah, you heard that right. In the middle of the book, a named character shows up, so sure, we can already guess how that will end because characters with tabletop models don't die, but the book solidifies this even further by literally stopping the story and telling you the ending. No, no joke! In the middle of the book, there are a couple of mission reports that just tell what happens next. I didn't feel like this ruins the book or something, but I do find it a very weird writing decision. As a side note, I would also like to point out that a lot of the tropes that ADB reuses in most of his books are absent here. So if you're like me and you've read most of his books, then this is a nice change of pace. Then finally, I can't end the review with pointing out the classic ADB writing style. The characters are pretty fun, there are some epic movie-like scenes and there's plenty of humor. Sure, this is no Voidstalker, but it still very much feels like an ADB novel, which is a good thing. All in all, I'm giving this one 4 to 5 Cannon Fodder Marines. Cadian Blood is an entertaining Imperial Guard novel that takes a closer look at both the Cadians and the Guard as a whole. There are some weird writing decisions here and there, but still the novel remains captivating from start to finish. So if you like the guard, I definitely recommend it, but otherwise, I would first check out some of the other works of ADB, such as the Night Lord's Trilogy or Spear of the Emperor. Anyway, that was all I got for you today. Have a nice day, the book's linked down below, and don't forget your daily prayers to the Runus powers. Mm -hmm.